My review of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Nintendo Wii U was published on January 7th, 2015, five days after its European launch. The game had already been out for over a month in other regions, so while it was an uncharacteristically timely release for my channel, the review was less than optimally relevant as a means for potential consumers to gauge their interest. Clocking in at 4 minutes and 31 seconds including bumpers, the video is short and concise, detailing the game's origin as a spin-off of another title, overviewing the basic gameplay structure, and sprinkling in some personal opinions on particular elements. The review is presented without numerical or letter grading, requiring viewers to actually watch the video and pay attention to the words I speak in order to estimate the extent of my recommendation. Stylistically, the video is relatively mundane and grounded in comparison to the more avant-garde material I usually post on YouTube. It does, however, feature a brief pre-recorded aside of myself on camera smelling the game's instruction manual. This smell review segment is short enough so as not to distract from the seriousness of the main review, but does offer some levity for those who prefer or expect that sort of content on my channel. The review video is presented in 720p at 60 frames per second, but due to the despicable nature of the Haupaug HD PVR, the captured footage does not completely fill the frame, and appears somewhat blurrier than the original output from the Wii U console. I have since lost the original video files, and YouTube's own re-download service is limited to 30 frames per second, so the video you're watching now will be of even lower quality, but the original is just good enough to serve its purpose. Edits are made to the footage to highlight certain elements where appropriate. The voiceover is synced nicely to the visuals, but the microphone quality is of a non-professional standard with frequent audible inhalation and tongue clicking. Also, as I recorded all gameplay footage after having cleared the final bonus level, Captain Toad himself can be seen wearing a regal crown in all scenes, constituting somewhat of a spoiler for those who might have wanted to enjoy the reveal of that post-game reward for themselves. The crown does illustrate my having played the game to completion, lending a modicum of authority and expertise to my opinion. The review was well received, earning 19 thumbs up with only one thumb down, and a total of 245 views, a decent number by my channel standards. Four people left comments on the video, including both Mark Brown and his dad. All of these comments are positive, so the identity of the downward thumb and the reason for their dislike are unknown. A quick, reasonably professional review with little bonus live action smelling thrown in. My review of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is far from the most outlandish, well edited, engaging, funny, interesting or popular video I have ever uploaded to YouTube, but it is an easy watch, well suited to comfort viewing or binging and the actual review material is still mostly relevant to the recent Switch and 3DS re-releases, although there are certainly aspects of the Wii U game and my criticism thereof that have been addressed or are otherwise absent in the new versions. It's not a massive investment of time or attention, but it's enjoyable enough while it lasts. Much like the game itself.